our next finalist is Essential Farms, a beyond organic OLCC tier two craft cannabis farm outside of Eugene, Oregon. The conversation about export has really highlighted the difference in what craft actually means and in what Oregon craft actually means. And this is one of those farms who's living up to those standards and demonstrating what that should look like. Ken Essentials was founded three years ago by my cousin Shane, an organic farmer, and myself, an owner of multiple businesses, each with close to two decades of experience in our field. Our basic belief is that you can grow the cleanest, highest quality cannabis while doing the least amount of harm to the environment. It's what consumers want and what they're willing to pay for. Connoisseur craft quality. 55% of millennials are willing to pay a premium for products that come with high quality standards. Flavor. 64% of consumers say that taste is the most important attribute about food and beverages they consume. Sustainable. 66% of global consumers and 73% of millennials are willing to pay more for sustainable goods. Do we have quality? Well, we have the awards to prove it. We've won first or second place in every major competition we've entered in the last three years. Shane? Um, our goal at Can Essentials is to produce the tastiest, cleanest burning cannabis in the most low impact and less harmful way. We continually work to reduce our environmental footprint, ensure that our grow methods produce as little waste as possible. We use closed loop regenerative systems to minimize our impact. Many of our fertility amendments grow in on our, our farm and other inputs sourced from quality uh, purveyors. We strive to grow flowers that are healthy as possible. It's no store bought, bottled or synthetic ingredients are ever allowed in our farm. How is it done? Our economically built greenhouses create the perfect growing environment. Hydronically heated floors provide warmth and uh, pr improving the bioavailability of nutrients to the soil. Careful placement of ventilation fans and circulation fans encourages transpiration and optimum growth. A powerful computer-based system provides remote monitoring and operational control of internal climate, creating consistency and fail-proof operation. HID lamps respond to the climate control assuring plenty of light and minimizing energy use. Our living soil beds are proprietary soil mix in raised beds sitting on top of native soil, providing plants with ideal root conditions and a direct connection with the earth. Our living soil is teeming with a diverse array of beneficial organisms. They work symbiotically to improve tilth and break down nutrients for improved bioavailability. We believe in feeding the soil. Our methods emphasize probiotics, fruit and plant ferments, and are crafted on site, as well as sprouted seed, herb, and compost teas. We amend with biologically active top dress, customized to plants and strains specifically, and we avoid animal byproducts that can lead to nutrient overload, which negatively affect both burn quality and full aromatic experience. Instead, we use mostly plants to feed our plants. Besides being a near-perfect balance of nutrients, they also contain terpenes and other bioavailable and beneficial compounds that commercial or synthetic amendments lack. This makes our harvest higher quality, more ethical, sustainable, more fragrant bouquets, and abundant terpene profiles. We slow dry and cure in uh, climate-controlled drying rooms, and our flower is hand-finished, hand-trimmed. Small craft batches, large strain diversity. We typically run between eight to 10 different strains per cycle. This assures a variety of selections for our customers, from intensely stony indicas to evenly balanced hybrids and euphoric uplifting sativas. Our flower is Dragonfly Earth Medicine Pure Certified. DEM Pure Certified Farms utilize solely regenerative and biologically intelligent cultivation practices. Let's talk some numbers. The average price of a pound of cannabis in the United States right now is $1,200. Indoors, hovering around $1,500. Down in Oregon, well, it's at $626 a pound. That's a 65% decrease since last year. Where are our prices? Well, although they've gone down, we're still at around $1,200 a pound on average, with our most expensive stuff going for about 16. We sell for more, but what about costs? Well, in the past three years, we've been working on becoming more and more efficient, with the goal of maintaining a solid gross margin in a market of dropping prices. In 2018, we were proud to say that we were able to get our prices down 29% uh, decrease in the cost of salaries, an 88% decrease in the cost of soil and amendments, a 43% decrease in lab costs. That's a 35% decrease in cost of goods sold with the prices going down 27%. That's right, our margins are going up. The other key to sales is diversified sales pool. We have uh, increased the amount of stores we're in by almost double from 36 to 62 in the last year. Our percentage of sales to the top 10 customers has gone down, that's a positive thing, from 82% to 68%. In fact, the top two stores have gone down from 43% of our sales to 37. But we need your help. We, have, we need operating capital. We trim as fast as we have cash, and the pro faster we can trim, the fresher the flower, the higher the price. We need infrastructure improvements. Our greenhouses, we built ourselves, they're three years old, they're selling signs of age. We need to improve them to improve quality and to improve yield.
We need marketing. We need to educate buyers and consumers about our brand and the way we grow through publicity, sponsorships, outreach, and social media. We also need to pay off some lingering AP and high, cr high interest credit cards. What are we looking for? 300,000 for a 25% stake in our company, 50,000 for operating capital, 150 for infrastructure improvements, 50,000 for marketing, and 100,000 for current liabilities. Why invest in Can Essentials? We're an established brand with over three years of sales and a reputation for quality. We have very high press uh, visibility. We have high sell-through rates in a market of oversupply. We're close to cash flow neutral, and we have low debt, and we're self-financed. The long and the short of it is, our short play is improved marketing and quality transfer to more sales. More sales takes us from break even to profitable. The long play, well, we take our proven uh, proof of concept and we duplicate it, either through direct franchising or consulting. This includes selling our inputs to others until they can produce themselves. So be a part of it. Together we can show the world that top shelf cannabis and sustainably grown can mutually coexist. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miranda. Thank you, everyone, for... Uh hosting us here today.